Hey everyone, it's me, it's Yvonne Emil Elizondo from Silver Moon Astrology and Transpersonal Counseling, also known as Silver Moon Counseling. And I'm here with the Energy Weekly update. Uh, let's see what the universe has to say to us. And um, as I'm shuffling this, I will share that, I'm sorry, I'm going like hundred miles an hour. And I, I usually do, I have massive ADHD. And if you have the ADHD, that's just, it's like, your brain and your mind is like on overdrive constantly. So I always have like three, four, five billion different thoughts happening at once and nothing comes out of my mouth sometimes. So, and, or I just freeze. Cause I'm like, hmm, what was I supposed to say? I was, I know I was going to share something with you right as I started shuffling and I can't remember, but on that note, Hey, if you feel that you you know, might be struggling with ADHD, you might see some symptoms there, or maybe you, your teen um, might be struggling with ADHD. Uh, yeah, contact me. I'm a licensed uh, professional counselor. And so I can absolutely work um, with you to get an assessment done. And you'd be surprised. Like I was functioning relatively well my entire life. That's not even true. I, I wasn't functioning well. I thought I was functioning relatively well. And I opted not to use medication. I always just used holistic approaches and behavioral um, therapy to try to manage my ADHD symptoms. And it wasn't until like recently where I went and I tried, I was like, I got to do medication. That's because my daughter told me, Mom, you, you just, you're not functioning well. You, you have to go get medication <laughs> at this point. So after 52 years, here I am trying medication and it's been a lifesaver. But whether you try medication or not, hey, if you think you have ADHD, contact me. We'll figure it out. All right, here we go. You ready? Shuffle. I hope I said that these are the Oracle cards by Kyle Gray, <laughs> part of ADHD. You can't remember what you just said three, three sentences ago. Uh, and these are illustrated by Jennifer Hayward. All right, here we go. Ready? Joy and contentment. I, I couldn't read because, <laughs> wait, there are my glasses. I hope I said that right. Yes. Oh, look, she's so pretty. Joy and contentment. How awesome is that? Oh, I love this. I absolutely love these cards. So let's take a look at joy and contentment for this week, right? Which is kind of cool because I do have to say that astrologically, we've got some really good energy that's been going on. There's a lot of sextile energy. And what that means is that these, the planets are getting along really well. There's fluidity and ease. You just have to learn to tap into them. Um, so this would actually be a really great message for this week because it coincides with the, the astrology for the most part, because we are going to be having a Neptune, Jupiter, Venus conjunction in Pisces. And I'm so excited about that. I'm going to be sharing that in another video. So joy and contentment. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. All right, so where in your life do you need to bring some more joy and contentment? Mm -hmm. Maybe you've been on autopilot because autopilot is so healthy. <laughs> so a sarcasm. Anyhow, uh, no, it's not. Where do you need to be bring joy and contentment into your life? I mean, last week we got off the vibe of holy love because it was Easter and the message last week was holy love. And so maybe it's transitioning, trying to keep us on that same vibe, right? The joy, the contentment. Um, and what is joy? Like, how would you define joy? I guess that's where I would start. How would I define joy, right? Because joy and happiness, yes, they, they go hand in hand, right? But for me, everything is energy. And so to me, joy is a higher vibrational you know, um, energy, okay, emotion. And all emotions are, are energy in motion. Emotion is energy in motion. So joy is a super high vibrating, you know, energy. It feels good. You feel happy. You feel amazing. You feel contentment, right? You're at peace. You en you're enjoying your experience. So maybe this week it's about putting into place those things that are going to help you stay joyous and is that a word? Joyous, joyful, joyful. We'll go with both. Joyous and joyful, okay, it, this week. So maybe that's what you need to do is really tap into that sense of joy. What are some of those things that bring you joy and contentment? Well, for example, I really like making mala beads, okay? So I, I use these to for meditation. I enjoy mala beads. Uh, I 
don't usually like taking long, long walks, but I love being outside except when it's really hot. So maybe that won't work for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, astrology. I love astrology. I just, and I still read astrology books whenever I can. That makes my heart really, really happy. Working with my clients makes me really happy. Uh, what else? Hanging out with my daughter makes me really happy, joyous, and, and, and I find a sense of contentment driving my car. Yes, makes me really happy. Um, but sometimes just sitting here and just tapping into spirit and tapping into the universe or just kind of looking at, you know, the trees and talking to the birds makes me happy. Sometimes it's a really cool things like taking a vacation that makes you happy. And sometimes it's just the most simplest things that are going to make you joyous, joyful and content. So this week, pay attention. Where do you need to bring more joy in your life? Is it at work? Are you stressed out and you're just on autopilot at this point? You're not being mindful. Is it at home? Maybe family issues, family dynamic is getting the best of you. Is it maybe physical health? Okay. Is it maybe mental health? You know, so this week, be aware of opportunities to create joy in your life and be aware of those times or those situations or those people that are draining your joy and your contentment. Super easy this week. There we go. Ta-da. Anyhow, on that note, I am really excited and I'm very joyful because we, and when I say we, I mean me and my colleague and friend, uh, Julie, we are opening our office space uh, together starting on May the 2nd. So I am super excited. I will be uh, the Silver Moon counseling part. I will be offering mental health counseling, individual counseling, transpersonal counseling, which is a lot of what we do here. Uh, I will also still continue to offer my astrology consultations. And I love using astrology in, in counseling because there's such an amazing insight that can happen uh, and life coaching as well. So I will still be offering all of those uh, services and Julie uh, is uh, will be running Raven Azul, and she will be really tapping into that energy work, the Reiki, the intuitive sense, um, really working more with like that energy making sure that your energy is open, working on your on your chakras, and she's trying to work on my throat chakra. So yeah, you, you'll know when she works on it because I'll look. Anyways, ADHD moment right there. So uh, you can find her at ravenazul.com. That's ravenazul.com. And you can find me at silvermooncounseling.org. That's silvermooncounseling.org. We are super excited to be collaborating um, in this project. Uh, the counseling part is mostly mine. She's doing the energy work. And together, a lot of that overlaps. And so we will be having meditation groups. Um, we're going to be doing journeys. Uh, the meditation room is already all set up. Uh, so we're, we're really, really excited uh, about uh, this new venture. So if you want to learn more, I'm going to link um, her information uh, to the video. I'll link my information to the video. And yeah, you can, you can, hey, if you need healing, just come, come our way. It's that simple. All right, everyone. Take care. Blessed be. And remember to be joyous and content. Content. All right. Take care, everyone.